Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh Quinones here, and today we are going to be installing the Widestone Dome Premium Gen Film Screen Protector for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5, which I have over here to my left. And this has been my go-to screen protector for pretty much any device that they have these available for, especially when it comes to foldable devices. If you need to replace that inside screen protector, this is definitely a good one to go with. And I'm actually using the same exact screen protector on my Samsung Galaxy uh, Z Fold 5 here. So if I open it up, this is the same exact screen protector that I am using and it responds great. It works well. As you can see, there are no air bubbles in there. There was at first when I first installed it, but after uh, letting it sit on there for a while and just after so many folds, it does go away and it looks super clean. So have I have no complaints with that inside screen protector. This premium gen film definitely gets the job done. Now make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because we are going to be taking a look at cases from our sponsors of today's video. We got the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro over here to my right and the iBlazon Armor Box Series case here. And both of these cases are going to give you maximum protection for your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. They have a nice outer part and even a built-in outer screen protector. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so we can see the maximum protection that we're not only going to get with these cases right here, but with that inside screen protector as well from Whitestone Dome. But let's go ahead and get this process started. So as you can see here, I already have everything out set up and ready to go. What you're gonna wanna make sure to do first after setting everything up, is make sure that your Galaxy Z Flip 5 is powered off. You don't want this turning on on you while you are uh, installing this uh, inside screen protector. So I'm gonna go ahead and just power that off there. Go ahead and set it over to the side for now. So like I said, make sure everything is out and ready to go. As you can see, I got this white strip up here and this actually has an adhesive on the bottom of it. So you're gonna wanna peel that off and stick it to a flat surface wherever you're going to be installing this. It'll stick on there. And what that's going to do is it's going to prevent this jig from moving up while installing this. And then you're gonna see this little Lego piece right here that comes with it. So these three legs up here are going to be facing up and you're going to wanna set it on the top just like that. It's going to sit in there just like a little Lego. And then of course I got everything else set up and ready to go. Now, if your inside screen protector that comes with your Galaxy Z Flip 5 is still looking good, the original screen protector, I mean, there really is no need to replace it. But if you see it does start, you know, something does start happening to the edges, maybe they're starting to peel up or gain a lot of dust and it, you see it's time to replace it. Well, this is a good one to go with, or maybe you just wanna replace it with something a little bit better. Well, you are going to have to take this one off in order to install the new one. And that's why they give us this little plastic piece here. And basically what we do is we just put it right under, just like that. As you can see, once you got a good amount under that in-display uh, screen protector, you can peel it up just like that. It's just to help you kind of peel it up and then you peel off. No, this will not void your warranty. It's only going to void your warranty if you do happen to mess up that inside display taking this off but as you can see all is well all looks well looking super clean except for that little part up there which we are going to have to clean off right now so this you can get rid of it you're not going to need it anymore now once you've done all that you can go ahead and set the phone down in the jig itself here fits in there nice and secure it's not going anywhere then we can go ahead and give it a nice clean now i do recommend doing this in a dust free environment and it looks like my phone's turning back on. <laughs> so it looks like it's a little tight up against the power button there. So I guess we can't win there. It's going to end up turning the device back on. So I'm trying to get this top corner cleaned up really good here because it looks like that's where it left a little bit of adhesive there. All right, looks nice and clean to me. I'm just going to go over the rest of it really quick. Make sure there's no fingerprints or anything like that on your display. Want it to be nice and clean, looking good right there. Go ahead and set back over to the side. Then we get our dry cloth. Just go over it really quick. There we go, just to dry it up. And then we'll go ahead and take our dust removing stickers. You wanna make sure there is no dust. Like I said, try doing this in a dust free environment, but this is here just in case you do get any dust on this inside display. You don't wanna create any air bubbles or anything like that underneath this screen protector. And it's looking good to me so far. Keep in mind, I am doing this behind a camera, so I'm doing the best I can. This is just to show the installation process. It might not come out the most perfect because of the fact that I am behind a camera. Okay, now we got our squeegee ready right here. This stuff we don't need. We can go ahead and take our screen protector out of the pack now, just like this. And you're gonna see a number one right here. This is what we are going to peel off right now. It's going to let you know where the top is and where the bottom is. So let's go ahead and peel off the one. There we go, and go ahead and flip it 
the right side make sure the sticky part is down at the bottom as soon as possible so no dust falls on it and then you're going to see these holes up here and those are going to set up at the three legs up at the top so i'm going to go ahead and set them up there and the same thing down here at the bottom and there we go so we are now ready so this is ready to go now what we can do at this point is take our squeegee we're going to start at the bottom with some nice not too much force but just enough to where you can feel it sticking on to that display and we're going to work our way up slowly all right so here we go starting down at the bottom and let's go ahead and start pushing up even pressure all the way through nice and slow nice and slow Nice and slow. And then when I get to the middle, I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. And I'm just going to go over it one more time in case there's any air bubbles. That way I can push them out towards that middle area. There we are. And I'm going to go over the middle here a few times. Forgive my, my camera is moving right now. And I'm just going to keep on going up. Like I said, even pressure, go all the way up to the top. Boom. Once you get to the top, you can go ahead and hold this and then just take this top piece off. You don't need it sticking there anymore. And then you can do the same thing with the bottom. You don't need the bottom on there anymore. And then you're just gonna wanna go over it one more time like this. Go ahead and go down to the bottom this time. There we go, make sure it's on there, nice and good. And then we can go ahead and peel this top piece off. Boom, clean. Look at how clean that looks. So now we can go ahead and go over the phone again really quick, just kind of go over the top here. You'll see a little bit of air up at the top. You can just push that out and same thing down at the bottom, but everything is looking great. You can do it over at the sides, make sure the crease is good. Everything is looking good. And that is it, seriously. I mean, look at how clean this came out super clean if you and if for some reason you do see any little tiny air bubbles like for instance you can kind of see them right here in the middle those will go away over time just like my on my galaxy uh, z fold 5 they go away but let's go ahead and give it its first fold here with this new inside screen protector boom let's open it up look at that looking very very clean let's go ahead and check responsiveness here as you can see it's working good no problems with responsiveness at all. You can't even tell there's a screen protector on there. I mean, it feels really, really good, super smooth. It almost feels like, you know, the, the one we had before, in my opinion, just a little bit better, but you're not gonna have any problems with this at all. You can fold it as many times as you want. Let's see if we leave it kind of folded like this. You can kind of see in the crease, everything is looking good. So if you want some good protection for that inside display, a nice premium screen protector, then you should definitely go with the Whitestone Dome Premium Gen Film. Okay, so now we know how to take care of that inside display on the Galaxy Z Flip 5, but what about the rest of the phone? Well, that's where our sponsors of this video come in. We got the sister companies right here. We got Subcase and iBlazin. So to my right, we got the popular Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro and the iBlazin Armor Box Series case over here to my right. Very, very similar cases are going to provide your galaxy z flip 5 that maximum protection that you need very uh rugged designs just you know they have a little bit of a different look a little bit of a different design but a lot of similarities when it comes to both of these cases it's really going to come down to personal preference and how you want your case to look but we will go ahead and start off with the popular unicorn beetle pro case right here as you can see it is a two-piece case it comes with a hard backing with a kickstand hinge protection as well and a front piece with a built-in screen protector to provide that outer display some protection as well. And then we got a 360 degree holster for both of these cases right here. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, slap this on the device here. We'll go ahead and start off with the front part right here. Now there is an adhesive here on the inside to help it stick to the front to make sure it stays on there nice and secure. Snaps on easily just like that. You kind of want to push up, make sure it's in place. And it's also providing some good protection for those cameras right there. Look at that, and just all the way around, you're getting a good lift to where if you accidentally, you know, drop it face down or just want to set it flat down on a flat surface like that face down, face down, it'll uh, give it just enough lift to where it won't even scratch up that outer uh, screen protector right there. But let's go ahead and snap on the back piece here. Snaps on easy, just like that. Same thing, you wanna make sure to push it in to place. And look at that, we get perfect cutouts on the bottom for 
the microphone, the charging port, the speaker. And we'll actually go ahead and test out a charging cable right here. So you can see it fits in there nice and secure. It's not loose, it doesn't come out. So that is good to know right there as well. And what I like about this, it's got a nice like carbon fiber look down at the bottom and even on the sides, both sides actually, very cool look to it. Again, built-in outer screen protector that performs well. No problems there when using that outside front display. And then of course we do have that hinge protection. You could flip this open if you want. And when you open it, it does pop out a little bit. So you, the only thing is you won't be able to set it, you know, flat down, but it does kind of prop it up a little bit. So that's kind of nice. So it's kind of propping up towards me and I can just, you know, easily use my phone like this if I want to. And then you could still, you know, fold it in any way you want like this. So you're still not gonna have any problems there even with that hinge protector in the back. You just will have to make sure to close it like that. Going to the back, we do have a built-in kickstand. If you would like to use that, you can also use it as a pop socket as well when holding your Galaxy Z Flip 5 device. It snaps right back into place just like that. It's just an overall cool, rugged look. And again, it does come with a uh, 360 degree holster just like that, as you can see there. So if you want to, you know, snap it onto your bag, maybe your pants, shorts, or anything, you got that right there. And it's definitely going to provide your Galaxy Z Flip 5 with that maximum protection just all the way around. And it even gives you an opening right there to easily find that power button and be able to use that built-in fingerprint sensor as well. But again, Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro. So next up is the iBlazon Armor Box Series case. Again, very, very similar to the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro, but it does have its own little distinct look when it comes to ruggedness. So like I said, it's gonna depend on what you are looking for as far as looks go when it comes to a super protective case like these right here. I'm really liking the carbon fiber finish right here going all the way around the back right here. And then it, this one also does come with a kickstand as you can see right there. You're still getting that hinge protection. Now you don't have that carbon fiber look on the sides right here like the Subcase Uno Gorn Beetle Pro, but this offers a little bit of extra grip. You get some nice texture on both sides right here. Another opening for that fingerprint sensor and power button going down to the bottom. Still get precise cutouts there for the speaker, microphone, and charging port. And then some more grip on the other side as well. And if you look right here, on the edges, you also get some added protection. Now, of course, going to the front, we still get that built-in screen protector, which performs well, no problems there with responsiveness. And you're also getting a nice lift all the way around for those camera lenses and that screen as well, even though it does have a built-in screen protector. So that's just kind of added protection there. Again, hinge protection opens up just like this going to look exactly the same as the Unicorn Beetle Pro when you look at it from the side like this as far as you know how flat it can get with that hinge protection in the back it will prop it up a little bit for you but you can still fold it where, however you want to and again this one does come with that built in I mean not built in but it does come with that 360 degree holster as you can see here so again if you want to clamp it onto maybe your bag purse shorts pants whatever you can do that with this 360 degree holster and both of these cases i mean are going to add you that maximum protection for your galaxy z flip 5. and then if you want color options well we got color options as you can see here and then you can also check out the link that i have down in the description below or in my pinned comment to see what other co color options they may have available and also if you want to pick one of these cases up for yourself but again huge thanks to iblazon and subcase for sponsoring this video well there you have it installing the white stone Dome premium gem film on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. What do y'all think? Let me know your comments down in the comments sections below. If you did find this video helpful, if you did like it, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is Josh Quinones and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.